I can't believe you're getting men to pack your clothes. Let's see how they pack it. Hey guys, it has been three weeks since I've moved into this temporary house. It has been really hectic. We spent more than a week sorting everything out, getting settled. You won't oh. be able to even push it one inch. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, yeah, one inch. Oh, yes, you did. Putting all my stockings, hosiery into carton boxes. Finally, these LV boxes and all these boxes that I have come in handy for putting all my stuff. Not the best way to pack my sunglasses, but I'm going to be hand carrying these boxes tomorrow. Filled to the brim, and now I cannot close. Look at this whole vanity situation. So how am I going to pack all these lipsticks and skincare? I'm going to be very lazy and just stuff paper. So that the products don't move and then I can just bubble wrap the whole entire cabinet. Ah. Mm. Bubble wrap the whole entire cabinet. And when I reach there, I'm just going to take out the paper and the products will still be in place, hopefully. And uh, which means I save time in rearranging my vanity when I get to the new house. Oh my god, what is going on? Does my face look tighter? Alright guys, say bye bye to the Jay-Z closet. You guys must be curious how this house looks like so I'm going to do a little bit of the house but not a full house tour we'll save that for the next time I'm really happy living here it's slowly but surely beginning to look like home Really, really hot day, and this pool looks mighty inviting. It's so gorgeous. Removing the chickens. Hello, your new home. Do you like it? can't wait to move into my new house which is like two streets away it is still in the midst of building so I think I'll be here for quite a few months well there's always going to be a chance for a house tour but first come with me and see how I got settled okay I am ready to make the first trip of today look at the back of my car it's like built to the brim stuff I am trying to bring as much as possible uh, within my own capacity to clear out the wardrobe as soon as possible and you know some things I don't want them to be dented they're fragile or um, yeah I 
I just cannot afford for them to be lost so I will bring those things myself. I woke up early but I didn't get enough sleep. So honestly I don't know how patient am I going to be doing this um, moving vlog because things are already stressful. I'm trying my best so if it's <laughs> not the best I'm sure you guys understand. Wish me luck! I was like so uninspired in the city and that's why I feel like maybe the island would do me some good like to re-inspire me once again. You guys might think that I will be living out of boxes but no there is no way that I would live out of boxes so basically I've got like 400 boxes whoa this is ridiculous and we moved one batch up already and this is only the first trip it was really tedious and I think the movers were like completely going crazy you don't know why you waste a ton heavy, right? can make like a jewelry case yeah why is it heavy look at that oh my god I'm like, really gonna oh, okay. you want my face also okay can you know what you handsome it's okay As you can see, the house is in a terrible mess and mm. Chloe has cooked for me Yummy her Korean homemade food. Korean, Korean food! food. <laughs> I can't wait! Last lunch in this house with the girls! Korean food is here! Yeah. 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 What do we have? This is a vegetable spring roll Whoa. Korean California roll kimbap Hakkangjang, fried rice, sweet fried rice, wow. chicken. Wow! This is the sauce for the spring roll. Uh, oh, it's super gorgeous. Don't worry. <laughs> wow! Nice Korean food. Nice. These are the only plates we have and the cutlery. Oh my god! I just want to show you guys the situation here. It's a war zone. Crazy war zone. Everything is packed up. They've never seen so much stuff in their life. Without furniture, I had over 400 boxes of items. I can't believe it myself either. This is a moving trolley with my stuff. It's moving by itself, I don't know why. Okay, I'm going to just put my sunglasses into the drawers very quickly before I move on to my underwear and my gloves. Oh, you can see my eyes. That's great because I'm looking very, very tired. Well, thank goodness I have workers from like my house two streets away. I'm trying to hurry right here to just nicely place all my underwear. All done. More to go. I'm at my most stinky state right now because I've been perspiring from packing. So I just like spritz some perfume on myself and instantly I feel refreshed once again. But there's a lot of stuff and I've got them all sorted out, put them in where they belong. Not every single box has been opened. Of course, I have got some kept in the attic and most of my wines are kept in the basement. I have no access to any of my red wines, so I guess I'll be drinking champagne only because the first thing I packed was like all my champagne. I brought them here to be put into a wine fridge because I always need my bubblies. So guys, come with me. So guys, welcome to my new home. This is the foyer area and I have got my cage chandelier here if you remember from my old place. 
So we've got to move the chandeliers and some of the lightings which I intend to keep. Your bicycle is here. I don't know why. To me, decorative items are like my faces, which I love. Guess what's my favorite part of this house? It's got to be a sexy staircase in my house. I am really particular about staircases. I think that staircases are very beautiful and they should not be hidden. So there is a beautiful staircase in this house. Thank God for that. La, 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 la. And a great outdoor. It's always really important for me. Let's have a look. This has got to be my favourite part of the house. I've got this gazebo built. And my outdoor area where I like to chill in the evenings and in the mornings. So right here I've got all my rattan furniture from my old garden. You can hear the birds chirping actually. I really love this place because every morning I'm awoken by the sounds of birds chirping and that is very very nice and you don't get that in the city. Let's look at the view which is my favorite part, like one of my favorite parts of this place. Look at this view, this always gets me. Spotted my male lemon tree right there. So this is possibly the only pool in the world that gets me swimming. I have been swimming every weekend. I wish I could swim a little bit more but oh, you know it's really tiring. Swimming really exercises every muscle on my body. Let's have a look at this inviting pool. A long time to get all these tableware out of the boxes but I successfully got them into this cabinet nicely so even my table linens are nicely sorted out you guys can see I am pretty anal about how my things look yep So, in my new place, I am going to have a room for all these tableware, glassware and stuff. That tableware room is something that I've always dreamed of. Here is the basement. Not that I'm going to take you guys down because it's just full of cartons of wine and that's nothing to look at. Right, so just a quick view of the living room area. I spent quite a lot of time getting this living room sorted out because it is where I entertain my friends and I just want it to look right for when people come over. In fact, I've started entertaining already. This pool is just fantastic. It's 25 meters and to be honest, a little bit long for me, but I can stop halfway when I'm swimming. And you can see from here, my peacock chairs up there for days when I just want to chill upstairs. I moved my little mini farm to the new house. I absolutely love this place because I think my chickens love it as well. I actually have the view of the chicken farm from my bedroom which is like super cute so I wake up in the morning and I just draw my curtains and there I see the silkies just playing away and we got another fresh egg today they all egg at different times so this one just happens to be in the coop so guys I hope you enjoyed this I'm going to be a bummer and just stop on the first level we'll do the second level the next time uh, I don't want this vlog to be too long and it's supposed to be like a house moving a vlog anyway not a house tour so I hope that you guys have really enjoyed this I'm going to show you how I put on my clothes oh my god that was quite crazy my shoes my clothes I mean they don't have a proper home yet oh my god look at the boat pass by It's like a holiday every day and so um, you guys can see how relaxed I am. I'm 
a little bit too lazy in fact I've got all my clothes my shoes my handbags they are sorted out let's hope the humidity doesn't kill them I've put in some dehumidifiers in the rooms already in my new closet there will be a dehumidifier in every corner of the closet that is super important I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! I spent quite a lot of time getting this living room sorted out.